Hi everyone, I wanted to share with you the portable scanner that I ordered from HSN and it's the Magic Wand 2 and I've already taken it out of the box. It's a easy three scan, easy three step scanning, I'm trying to prevent the glare. And I believe this was a, I think Cyber Monday, I'm not even sure. So you can scan articles, photographs, all sorts of things. So you essentially take the scanner to the item versus the item to the scanner. So let me show you the scanner itself. And you had a choice of, I think, eight or ten different colors, and they even have patterns, but honestly, I don't need a zebra print scanner. I just need the scanner. So that's what the scanner looks like. It scans an eight and a half inch wide um, up to, I think, believe 46 inches, so you could scan in, I don't know, a rolled text, uh, Torah, I'm not really sure what you would scan in for that length, but it does give you that option. So it also comes with a um, carrying pack uh, case or protective case, and it's full leather, it's fine, um, USB cable white balance sheet with instructions on how to white balance the scanner registration um, quick guide uh, wipe cloth for the scanner bed which is underneath right here that's the scanner bed I'm not going to touch it because I don't want to get it dirty and then it also came with creative software which is family creativity software and the reader software as well as a micro SDCH 4 gig card which is this little space right here and I'll show it to you I already put it in and here's the location for this for the card you push and it pops up long enough for you to grab it and this blew my mind and I knew the technology existed but it just made me think back to my first 256 meg computer in 1991 so this is four gigs on this tiny little card so I'm gonna put it back in and it only goes in one way you put it in and push it until it clicks you heard that little, tiny little click there's the USB connector and then it gives you uh, also provided an adapter for you to you can either download with the cable or with the card the SD card so that tiny little card I just showed you would fit into this slot right there and then this you can just pop into your computer and before I forget I'm gonna pop mine into a little case I have from I think an extra from one of my camera cards that way I won't misplace it because you know this is a tiny little thing and this is by far going to be the most convenient way to upload the information so I'm just gonna put it in there so it's tiny one of these little cards so I'll keep that on hand as well so um, I did scan one item and let me, let me turn it on and I'll zoom in hopefully so you could see the little screen zoom back just a little bit so this is the power this is one button it, um, you press down and hold to turn it on the screen will activate and you also press down once to start the scan press down second time to end the scan so as you're maneuvering the wand over your scan item that you're scanning you would start at the beginning press once pull down when you're done press once and then a file will be created. Now before you create the file you have a couple of choices. You have a choice between JPEG and PDF and quality type. So let me see if I can show you. Here's the quality. I'm sorry you're getting that um, little reverberation. The screen is itty bitty teeny tiny. So then you can move up and down with these buttons. Is a JPEG or PDF and this is where you get a choice of JPEG, PDF letter, or PDF A4. I'm just going to go back. And that's a preview of one that I already took. You're not getting very good. Yeah, you're getting the pixelation because it's such a tiny screen. 
So then you can, I'm going to click out of that, and then you have uh, low, which is 300 dpi, or high, 600 dpi, and I'm just going to leave it at 600 for the quality. So you have quality, JPEG, color, you want this in color, then OK, or monochromatic, which is the black and white. Time setup, I've already done that. You just OK through and then move up and down, and then... Um, auto power off if it's timing out you could set that then you can go back to the defaults format file delete is, um, is here as well so I'm just going to go back and then um, should we do a scan yeah why don't we let me see what would I like scanned in alright I'm gonna grab the closest thing to me that has well, let's try this. We'll scan try scanning through plastic. See how that works. Alright, or not. Better well let's try scanning this. Since I already have this. I'm gonna zoom out. So I have it down on my desk surface. I'm going to press press and hold. Oh, that turned it off. Hold on. Press. And when the green light starts blinking, as you can see right here, you just move the scan. And it's a scanning on the screen. And I'm going to press once more to end it. Now it shows me that there's two files, so let's preview it. And there's the CD that I just scanned in right here. It's that simple. So I'm going to play around with the software and see <clears throat> kind of things that I like versus not like so much. But these are all the items I came in with, you know, that were in the package along with the wipe cloth, the wipe balance. So um, I don't remember how much the um, cost was, but I had been eyeing this for some time, and I have a flatbed scanner, but I thought this would give me the flexibility to take it to my parents' house and scan in, um, you know, directly from their photo albums, some of the baby pictures that, not that my parents don't want to part with, but it would just be easier for me to quickly scan through. I could take you know, 15-20 minutes and scan a few pages worth of pictures and then just bring them home and uh, download them as JPEGs and then edit them that way. So I'm really looking forward to this. Um, this is also probably a great idea for scanning in articles. You know, there's always something in a paper or my husband comes home from something he ripped out of a magazine. This will be an easier way to uh, keep track of it all electronically. So if you have any questions, it's the Viewpoint Solutions um, Magic Wand 2 Portable Scanner. And I did get this from HSN. If you have any questions for me, please leave me a comment. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Zoom back just a little bit. So this is the power, this is one button. It, um, you press down and hold to turn it on. The screen will activate. And you also press down once to start the scan, press down second time to end the scan. So as you're maneuvering the wand over your scan item that you're scanning, you would start at the beginning, press once, pull down. When you're done, press once, and then a file will be created. Now before you create the file, you have a couple of choices. You have a choice between JPEG and PDF and quality type. So let me see if I can show you. Here's the quality. I'm sorry you're getting that um, little reverberation. The screen is itty bitty teeny tiny. So then you can move up and down with these buttons. This is a JPEG or PDF. And this is where you get a choice of JPEG, PDF letter, or PDF A4. I'm just going to go back. And that's a preview of one that I already took. I'm not getting very good yeah, you're getting the pixelation because it's such a tiny screen. So then you. Hi everyone, I wanted to share with you the portable scanner that I ordered from HSN. 
and it's the Magic Wand 2. And I've already taken it out of the box. It's a uh, easy three scan, easy three step scanning. Trying to prevent the glare, and I believe this was a. I think Cyber Monday. I'm not even sure. So you can scan articles, photographs, all sorts of things. So you essentially take the scanner to the item versus the item to the scanner. So let me show you the scanner itself. And you had a choice of, I think, eight or ten different colors and they even have patterns, but honestly, I don't need a zebra print scanner. I just need the scanner. So that's what the scanner looks like. It scans an eight and a half inch wide um, up to, I think, believe 46 inches, so you could scan in, I don't know, a rolled text, uh, Torah, I'm not really sure what you would scan in for that length, but it does give you that option. So it also comes with um, carrying, and I'm going to click out of that, and then you have uh, low, which is 300 dpi, or high, 600 dpi, and I'm just going to leave it at 600 for the quality. So you have quality, JPEG, color. You want this in color, then OK, or monochromatic, which is the black and white. Time setup, I've already done that. You just OK through and then move up and down. And then um, auto power off. If it's timing out, you could set that. And then you can go back to the defaults. Format, file, delete is, um, is here as well. So I'm just going to go back. And then, um, should we do a scan? Yeah, why don't we? Let me see, what would I like scanned in? Alright, I'm gonna grab the closest thing to me that has... Well, let's try this. We'll scan, try scanning through plastic. See how that works. Pack a uh, case or protective case, and it's full leather, and it's fine. Um, USB cable, white balance sheet with instructions on how to white balance the scanner, registration, um, quick guide, uh, wipe cloth for the scanner bed, which is underneath right here. That's the scanner bed. I'm not going to touch it because I don't want to get it dirty. And then it also came with creative software, which is family creativity software, and the reader software, as well as a micro SDCH 4 gig card, which is this little space right here, and I'll show it to you, I already put it in. And here's the location for, this, uh, for the card. You push and it pops up long enough for you to grab it. And this blew my mind, and I knew the technology existed, but it just made me think back to my first 256 meg computer in 1991. So this is 4 gigs on this tiny little card, so I'm going to put it back in, and it only goes in one way. You put it in and push it until it clicks. You heard that tiny little click. There's the USB connector. And then it gives you, uh, also provided an adapter for you to, you can either download with the cable or with the card, the SD card. So that tiny little card I just showed you would fit into this slot right there. And then this you can just pop into your computer. And before I forget, I'm going to pop mine into a little case I have from, I think, an extra from one of my camera cards. That way I won't misplace it. Because, you know, this is a tiny little thing and this is by far going to be the most convenient way to upload the information, so I'm just going to put it in there. So it's a tiny one of these little cards. So I'll keep that on hand as well. So um, I did scan one item and let me, sh let me turn it on and I'll zoom in. Hopefully so you could see little screen.